Hello, this is John Harvey. Yesterday, as I was working in mid-journey, creating images, I happened to think that um, what would happen if I took an image and how effective it would be to take an image from mid-journey over to Adobe Firefly. And so I chose this image because it's actually, in my opinion, anyway, kind of a cool image. The only thing here is the hands. And the hands have greatly improved over the last couple of versions of Midjourney. But with generative art, one never knows what part of the image might be a little strange. In fact, I mean, perhaps the fact that the clock has many hands is a little bit peculiar that could be fixed too although some might add that it's fine because the it fits into the rest of the image anyway let's go over to adobe firefly and for those of you that are not familiar with firefly firefly offers very much well, some of the similar abilities that Midjourney does so text to image so we're not going to go into that but the one that we are going to go into is generative fill and i'm going to go ahead and click on that and i'm going to upload that image so it's this image here and as you can see here at the bottom we have the ability to add or to subtract and so let's go ahead and um, paint this out we're going to add hands so good enough so let's just say hands <laughs> as simple as that so as you see we type that in the text box here after painting out those hands and let's see if firefly can do any better and there we go and you know one of the nice things about firefly is that it gives you various options but that's not bad so um that's interesting that i don't think would work and let's see no um i like these hands so let's go ahead and keep and there we did it we <laughs> improved on our hands somewhat going from mid journey to adobe fireflies